So everybody, I just wanted to show you what I did with my fuel system. Um, I don't know if you can see this up here. It's kind of uh, dark, but this is the top of the fuel tank. What I did was I ran um, a returnless style Corvette filter regulator system with anodized fittings and steel braided lines. So I have two anodized fittings sitting on top of the fuel tank as you could possibly see there. It runs down over the top of the fuel tank and around to the side of the frame of the truck. This is that Corvette regulator. Comes with a kit um, with the fittings that go on here and this fitting here. And then you're responsible for picking up the rest of the fittings. Um, I'm gonna use a self-tapping uh, nut and bolt to go in here or I guess self-tapping bolt, I guess it would be, or screw. But I'm gonna hold it to the frame there. Then I've got a single line that goes over the frame, over the transmission crossmember, and up to the engine compartment up there. I'll show you what it looks like from the top in just a moment. And then here we are. I've just kind of run it back behind the brake booster to keep it away from the engine a little bit and I've attached it right here. So my intake, this has actually uh, been somewhat of a issue I found. If you're using the uh, intake from the drive-by wire, it's gonna have a returnless system like this, so it does not have a return at the fuel rail. If you're running one that came with a drive-by cable, which is what I'm going with, it would have had the return here, and that would have been a much more easy connection with the S10 because it's the same setup. I think everything would have just plugged right bit back in with the exception of the EGR, which um, you could have set up, but with the clearance of the hood, I went ahead and eliminated that system. Um, another thing that, didn't, that this didn't have was the, uh, the throttle cable stop. And actually the two little pieces like this, that these thread into weren't there. So I had to cut that off from here, cut them out, and then hammer them into this so that I have somewhere to attach my throttle cable. So just a heads up there, if you're uh, running an S10 or something that had a return style system, getting an older intake with the drive-by cable is gonna be a better setup for you, I think, unless you wanna replumb your entire fuel system the way I just did. Um, if you wanna go ahead and replumb it, then that's fine too. It's just a little bit more expensive to do it that way. So I hope this information helps you out. Thank you very much for watching. Just wanted to show you my fuel setup. Uh, it's getting close. Hopefully within the next couple months, we'll be able to get this thing fired up and see if this engine even runs. So again, I thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my channel and subscribe.